everyone, Common Coon here. So, originally I was gonna cover a commentator by the name Midnight Vampire, who made a video on another commentator by the name Dolsmick, who made a video on Midnight, who made a video on another commentator by the name Doodle Tones, who made a video on someone named Kitty. However, not only has said video been covered by another commentator by the name Sketch TV, but I had pretty much little to nothing to add to the topic at hand, so I decided to drop it. Although, when I was reviewing Sketches and Dolsmix videos, I found some things that I wanted to bring up to the both of them, which is why I'm making this video instead. And that's about all you need to know, so with all that said, let's begin. While I was about to go record for the next video that I'm about to do, I ended up finding this commentary. So this is gonna be my first commentary on a commentary. So this is Midnight Vampire, someone who I assume wants to join the CC, and decided to make their first commentary on Doodle Tones, simply as a means to get an influx of viewers. This guy is already trying to make me look bad, why am I not surprised? Hey, Midnight, you understand that telling someone they ended up covering a bigger target to get people's attention isn't inherently a bad thing alone? In fact, my first couple of commentaries were to do that exact same thing for the most part, covering people that were bigger and could be considered to be tougher topics in the long run. Although you can debate whether or not those commentaries were good or not, that'll be up to you, although in the end it would prove nothing. What I'm trying to say is here is that Dahl was saying what he assumes that is the case, and didn't give out indications as to what this was of it being a good or bad thing. Unless you can prove otherwise with the intent of these statements, the most I can do is just dismiss your claim and call you out for being conspiratorial and trying your absolute hardest to try and make everyone who disagrees with you to be the bad guy. If that wasn't your intent, maybe you should consider rethinking how you word what you say, present yourself in a way that would not be seen as spiteful and biased towards any form of criticism, especially when Dahl here has yet to provide any indication whatsoever of him trying to have any malicious intent behind this video. Aside from the fact that as you even stated Sketch, that what Dahl is saying is only in an assumption, Meaning that he's just claiming Midnight's reason for doing the video on Doodle without any proof to back him up. Meaning that what he's saying isn't for certain, and yet we're supposed to just take this at face value? His claim, even if there's some sense to it, doesn't automatically mean that there isn't anything faulty or questionable about it. First off, just because a person does a video on someone who has more subs or is a notable figure in whatever it is that they're notable for, that doesn't automatically mean that they only made said video for views and nothing else. People like me, Dollsmick, Doodle, among others do these types of videos for other reasons than just mere views, such as to point out issues in someone's video to help them improve, bring up questions to said person because the arguments or answers that they gave in said video didn't make any sense, or simply because it's fun to make commentaries. Midnight could very well have made their video on Doodle to bring up issues or questions that they had with her video. Now sure, it's not impossible that Midnight may very well have been aware that doing a video on someone will get them attention, and getting attention is a goal of theirs, but that doesn't automatically make it their primary or only motivation for making their video on that person, contrary to what Doll is claiming. Second, the logic that a person's only motivation for making a video on someone popular for views can be applied to everyone making such a video and who has a lower sub count to the commentary target. So why is Midnight and only Midnight alone being looked at as someone that would do this if this logic can be applied to everyone who does the same thing as Midnight, that being making a video on someone popular? Now Sketch, while you said that you did indeed cover such videos for attention in the past, would it be safe for me to assume that you only do these kinds of videos for attention nowadays? Also, that may have been your motivation for doing videos. Your reasons for doing these kinds of videos doesn't equal everyone else's reasons for doing their videos. At least not automatically. Third, these following clips. What I'm trying to say is here is that Dahl was saying what he assumes that is the case, and didn't give out indications as to what this was of it being a good or bad thing. Fucking liar, if you didn't want people to harass me, you wouldn't put the fucking link in the fucking description. Man, what a way to assume. Look, the reason why one would link their video in the description is to ensure that people know what the source material is for copyright purposes for those who would like to know. So when Dahl makes his claim towards Midnight, it's seen as true and should go without question. However, Midnight's claim is just seen as wrong. Now, this isn't to say that Midnight was right. I agree that Midnight didn't back up their claim with any evidence whatsoever. However, Dahl made his claim without any evidence either, such as with a screenshot or a clip or something. And the idea behind why Midnight would merely do a video on someone notable, as I went over, can apply to everyone and it doesn't, nor should it, just put Midnight alone in that spot. 
Also, there is a problem with being accused of doing something just for attention. You see, if you claim that someone did something, in this case make a video on someone just for attention, then you make them out to be in an attention seeker. And there is a stigma attached to those kinds of people. That stigma being that attention seekers will jump into whatever situation, such as a drama surrounding someone, and they'll talk about it, but they won't actually look into it whether or not what they are talking about is true or false. Because to them, it's not about being factually correct, correct, and it's not about getting stories straightened out or even making arguments. It's about getting an audience to notice them and nothing else. Regardless of whether the attention is positive or negative, attention is attention to these kinds of people. People advise to ignore attention seekers because they are not here to help matters, and continuing to pay them any mind would only feed into their inappropriate behavior. They are considered a waste of time, and they don't provide anything meaningful or helpful towards the topic at hand. Also, Skits, it doesn't really matter if Dahl indicated that his claim was positive or negative in any way. Cause what he said carries the implication that Midnight is just here for attention. After all, implications are things said that are not directly stated. Fourthly, if you're going to argue as to why Midnight is an attention seeker, or anyone like them for that matter, is due to the fact that they made a lot of points that when broken down and examined, didn't really address any actual issues, or are just nitpicks and or non-issues, and that those are factors towards what they could be considered an attention seeker, then couldn't you argue that the reason for that is simply that Midnight is someone that doesn't know how to critique or argue properly? I mean, it is their first commentary after all, and not everyone is going to get something right the first time when they do it. This also adds the point that labeling Midnight in an attention seeker without proper evidence can be detrimental. Cause, if they are indeed trying to argue, and they could just use some advice that may help them improve, but they get a label attached to them which will get them ignored by other people, then they won't know, at least right away, what they did wrong or how they could improve or fix their mistakes. Plus, they couldn't gain a following for doing something they are actually serious about, due to the fact that they have such a label on them. Now, to address Dalsmik, I think I know how you got the idea as to why you think Midnight's motto for doing the video on Doodle was for attention, based on this comment from the comment section of your video on Midnight. You see everyone, in the comment section of Midnight's video on Doodle is a conversation between Midnight and another commentator by the name Lunatic the Game. Lunatic was basically asking if Midnight was just trolling, and Midnight, while they did say they want to gain an audience, they also said that they were being serious. And even if they made some bad points, or they made some invalid arguments, that doesn't mean that their attitude behind why they're doing this is any less serious. Unless you want to say that Midnight was lying about being serious, and if so, where's your proof, or how do you reason for that? Lastly, there is this statement from Dolsmik that I want to address. And on top of that, you just picked a very tame Doodle Tones video to commentate on. I get that making a video on Doodle will get you some kind of an audience, but you're not gonna do it this way. Try to have more things to say, or at least have some kind of a major issue with the video since it seems like you were just making this commentary for the sake of making it. Doll, this statement actually contradicts your earlier claim about Midnight's motive for doing their video. Since doing something for the sake of doing it, in this case a commentary, it means they did so with no particular reason. Thus meaning that there is nothing for Midnight to gain for making their video on Doodle. To explain this point further, let's say that I went to the store. If I was to go to the store for the sake of going to the store, then I wouldn't be going to the store to pick up groceries, or to stop my shift at work, to meet up with someone that I know, or what happened have you. I would just go to the store just to go to the store. Does that make any sense? And with that, I'm done with both videos. I don't think I need to go over again what it was that I took issue with, so I'll just go ahead with my final thoughts. Sketch, doll, I'm not sure how long you spend looking over your scripts, or how deep you analyze your arguments and statements for your videos on Midnight, but I would make sure to check that what you said is consistent and that you should question not only who it is that you're commentating on, but yourselves. Question yourself, for instance, how you figure someone did something for the cause of X, and what reasons or proof that you have that shows or suggests this, and if the reasons or proof are strong or flimsy. Ask yourselves if what you said is for certain or if it is just a mere 
possibility, or if there exist other possibilities for why things could have turned out the way that they did. And that's about all I wanted to say. Anyways, thanks everyone for checking out my video, but before you go, I would like to recommend Dolls Mix and Sketches channels for anyone that is interested, since they make a lot of good content that you or someone that you know might enjoy. Anyways, I'll see you around, have a nice day, and take care everyone.